everybody, it's Trish. I'm out here today and I want to talk with you about some ideas and principles about practicing and how to lower our scores. Now, everybody says drive for show, putt for dough. Well, the reality is good players not only putt well, but they chip and pitch well as also. So there was a pretty famous guy. You guys might have heard of him. His name was Ben Hogan. You know, golf clubs named after him. So Ben Hogan used to take an apple bushel basket and he would put it at about eh, 20, 30 feet away from him and he would chip the ball into that bushel basket. He would take like a hundred golf balls and he would make sure that he got all 100 golf balls in the basket. If he didn't get them in the basket, he would start over. And that's why to this day, he is still considered one of the best players ever. So what I have here today is a very small little example. I'm only about eh, 15 feet from that hula hoop. Can you see the hula hoop? What I did is I took two alignment sticks and I put them in a basket on either side and I put a hula hoop in the middle. So I have something to chip through. So what I want you to do is take five or 10 golf balls and set up a little station and make sure that when you practice, you practice with a purpose. So we take this little shot. Oh, I went right over the top of it. So let's try it again. I want to make my percentages greater so my scores can be lower. So I want to keep practicing this shot until, okay, that wasn't it. I want to keep practicing this shot until I get it just right. See that? So until I feel comfortable with this shot, there's through the hole, that's three of them. Until I feel comfortable with this shot, I don't want to move forward. There's four of them. I don't want to move forward with the rest of my game because every little piece helps. Does that kind of sort of make sense? So practice makes perf perfect, but practicing with a purpose is even more important. Does that kind of sort of make sense? So don't forget, like and subscribe to this channel for more great tips and tricks to help you improve your game. And most importantly, keep it in the short grass.